Hey guys, so in my previous video of my uh, DJI Mini 2 drone here, um, I did a weight test to see how much weight this thing can lift. And very crudely with a rubber band and, you know, a hook and a plastic bag, I was able to hang six ounces from it. Um, and it could fly with six ounces. Five seemed more comfortable for the engines. The engines weren't you know, screaming as much, but, uh, so I would say five ounces pretty comfortably. Well, <laughs> that got me thinking. And of course I've been wanting one. So what I bought, which looks like a couple of mule packs on the side of the uh, drone here was this thing here, remote throw system. So some people refer to them as a bombardier or a drop harness, right? A drop package, whatever for the, for the mini two drone. Well, as much research as I did on this one, I found a lot of them for the other drones, the larger drones, which I really liked. Uh, I'll go over the differences between these um, remote throw systems for the Mini 2 and for the bigger brother to this one, okay? This particular one for the Mini 2 comes with what this little remote device, this key fob, little metal antenna, antenna that pushes in and out. All right, so let me show you how this one works. We're going to turn it on. All right, I'm going to flip it upside down here so that we can see what's going on underneath. Now, right here, you see the metal bar. That's what's going to secure your package, your balloon, or message, whatever, onto that. Um, and it'll be operated by this arm via this servo. So the top button here opens. The bottom button closes it. Open, close. Pretty cool. Just has no range on it. No usable range. Not like the harnesses or the drop packages that they're making for the bigger brothers to these operated off of one of the lights. So the range on this thing, who I haven't played with it yet. I just got it tonight. I'm just opened up the box, strapped it on, and I'm doing this video. So I haven't played with this thing yet. But other reviews have said that uh, the range on this thing is pretty poor. It's maybe between 50 and 100 meters. Uh, I think somebody said they got theirs out to a couple of hundred meters, but whatever. So that's yeah, great for dropping balloons in your yard and, you know, things like that on the kids or the wife of the garden. <laughs> She'll kick my ass if I do that to her. But uh, this is the only style that they make for the Mini 2. Um, I guess because the other one, which I also bought. Yeah, this is for the Mavic 2. So the harness, the harness around it is much, much bigger. But the electronics, the size of the boxes and the, and the stuff inside, identical in size, right? Let me show you. So the boxes on these two are identical. Well, that got me thinking. And I'll tell you why that this one's a superior version that they make for the Mini 2. The superior version for the bigger ones. So, I already said, this takes this little key fob remote. So it has to have a secondary source to operate it instead of something on the drone. This one has this little guy right here on it. So, let me shine it in the light here so I can see, so you can see it. What that is, is uh, basically a, a light switch, okay? You add light to it, uh, or once light strikes the surface on it, it basically um, throws an internal switch of a sort and uh, provides power to the harness. So it does what this does simply by putting light on it. So on the, on the Mavic 2s and the larger drones, they have um, lights that you can turn on and off 
via the remote control. All right, now let's give uh, this one a test and uh, see how this one operates uh, when I shine the light into the um, uh, photosensitive diode here. So light in, should open it up. That's perfect. And of course, that's how they would operate this harness. So this harness has no range limit. Well, the only range limit it has is the range limit of the drone itself because this is operated by the drone, not by a remote. And again, unfortunately, they don't make them that way for this one. Why, I don't know. Because this also does have one light on it. Well, it has several lights, but main light on it. Now, you can't turn the light on and off on this drone via this button, the programmable button, right? <coughs> on the DJI Mini 2, this button only allows you basically to um, push the button once and make the camera look straight down, push it again, and it comes back up and recenters kind of thing, right? But you can turn the nose light off on this if you go into, when you're flying on your screen, you just hit the three buttons, menu comes down. Basically, the first screen that you're going to see anyways is, you know, an option for the nose light. What color you want it or disable the nose light. You're going to disable the nose light, effectively turning off the light. So, in theory, I can strip the electronics packages out of this one, put them in that one, and use this on the nose right and operate the system the way this one does the significance of that of course of this little drone right here has an impressive two and a half three mile range on it one battery two and a half miles out two and a half miles back three three kind of thing you know ideal conditions um that definitely makes this one much much more capable if i can have this uh, drop package operate the same way as the big brothers do. So I bought them both. They were 35 bucks each on Amazon. Yeah, what can go wrong? <laughs> I'm an ex-bomb squad guy. I kind of like uh, messing with the electronics stuff and, uh, you know, other things. But, uh, you know, we, uh, we had robots um, in our job field. So I've always been into the RC stuff, especially the flying stuff. I've always loved the flying stuff. In Afghanistan, I bought these little, uh, these little indoor flyer helicopters. They, they looked like the, uh, the real thing, you know, the Apache and the Chinooks and things. I bought them for my teammates and stuff. But I've always been into the RC stuff, not the ramble. But yeah, and I'm an outside of the box thinker, you know. Um, and I, I wasn't satisfied with what I was finding out about this. But for thirty five bucks, shit, I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm going to take this one, the packages, put them in that one, and see if I can't get it to work off that front light. Now, it does have another light on it. It has those four battery lights, and it has this tail light right here. This tail light would probably be more ideal, but for the life of me, I can't remember, and I haven't fucked with it before I did this video to see if this rear light turns off with the nose light. If I remember correctly, it does not, because this one's kind of a, this one's going to be on all the time, pulsing kind of thing or whatever, but I, I could be wrong. If, if it turns off when I turn the nose light off, then that's where I'm going to stick, stick this thing, in fact, because it probably fit a little better on there. Oh, yeah, that'd be beautiful. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing some experimenting and stuff, and uh, that's what the upcoming video is going to be about. So I just wanted to talk about this to, you know, bring you up to speed and uh, s explain how these two different drop systems work for these drones and how disappointed I was when I found out that they didn't make this style system for the DJI Mini 2. 
Well, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm going to get this one to drop by light too. Via the remote. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So that's going to be the uh, video coming up. So stay tuned. And um, if you like these type of videos, subscribe too. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video when I'm testing these things out.